Hello. Today, what I thought I'd do is I'd take us into the science lab and show you how to set up a Bunsen burner. Let's get started. In order to set up a Bunsen burner, we need to actually understand how a Bunsen burner looks and works. Here's one I had earlier. The Bunsen burner is made of several parts. We have the tube, which connects it to the gas. We have this long sticky up bit called the barrel. We have this rotating metal cuff, which is called the collar. And we have the base. Now you can see here that the collar rotates around this hole. And that allows air into um, the Bunsen burner to mix with the gas and burn. To light a Bunsen burner, we must make sure that that hole is closed. Remember, ABC, always be closed. There are several different safety procedures that we must follow when we're lighting a Bunsen burner. The first one is safety goggles. Now, I know these sometimes aren't the best, but even if you have glasses, make sure you're wearing them. After all, it's better to be safe than sorry. Furthermore, often when I'm in the lab, because they're not that nice, I see people up here or down here. Now, as much as I like my hair and my beard, I prefer to have my eyes. So make sure they stay there at all times. We also set it up on a heat proof mat. This provides us just that extra protection. And also, if we're lighting anything on the Bunsen burner, we can put it down there and, and feel safe that we're not gonna cause any damage. So, heat proof mat down, Bunsen burner on, and then the gas tap. Now comes two points, okay? First of all, I'm currently wearing a tie. Now often, people might have their ties tucked into a jumper, but I don't. So I'm gonna actually take this tie off. Also, at the moment I don't have my long flowing locks. But if you have long hair, make sure it's tied up in a ponytail. This means that your hair and also your ties aren't gonna sway into the Bunsen burner and catch on fire. Another big no-no is one of these. Don't sit down while you're on a Bunsen burner. Make sure it's tucked neatly under your desk. This means that any hot liquids, or if anything goes wrong, you can step out of the way nice and easily. Don't sit down. So now you have your Bunsen burner, your heat proof mat, your hair's tied up, goggles are on, ties in, you're ready to light the Bunsen burner. First of all, just check that that air hole is closed. Secondly, make sure that the flame is over the Bunsen burner before you turn on the gas. Now, your flame will come from one of these, a wooden splint. The teacher will have already lit a Bunsen burner and you can go over and light your wooden splint on the Bunsen burner and bring the flame over. So now I've got my flame, I'm gonna hold it over the Bunsen burner. I'm gonna open the gas tap, turn on the gas and you can see that the flame is lit. I'm gonna take the splint and just either dab it in or just leave it on the heat proof mat. Just quickly with these gas taps, there is a bit of a trick to them. You'll see that at the moment you can't turn it and that's because you need to lift and then twist. Then the gas will come out. When you're done, to make sure that the gas tap is off, all you need to do is turn it so it's horizontal and it should drop back down. You can even give it a little tap just to make sure. Now you can see this flame. That's because we have the air hole closed. This is called the safety flame. Now that does not mean that the flame is safe. It just means that you can see it. Once you have lit the flame and you're happy and comfortable with it, try turning the collar. You'll see a different flame. Now this one's invisible, especially with the lights on. But what I can do is turn them off. And now you can see this one a little bit better. This is a very clean flame because we've got lots of oxygen mixing. And this is the flame we're gonna use when we heat things. Clearly, this is a little less safe. Not only because it's hotter, but also because you can't see it that easily. So I'm going to turn it back to safety flame by closing the air hole. Now your flame's lit and you've done your experiment. It's time to turn the bunch of burn off. Please resist the temptation to blow it out, okay? It's not a candle. All you need to do is simply turn the gas off. So there you have it. That's how we're going to light the bunch of burner in a lab. Hopefully you found this useful and you'll be experts when we actually get to the lab.